Destination Hobart, Tasmania, on the morning of day three of the 2014 Rolex Sydney Hobart, as Wild Oats 11 and Comanche pass the organ pipes, heading to the finish in their epic quest for line honours. Having assumed control of the race early on day two, Wild Oats 11 had increased her lead over Comanche. The question remained whether the American yacht would mount a comeback in Storm Bay and the final 10-mile stretch up the Derwent River. On a glorious Sunday afternoon, thousands of spectators filled into Constitution Dock in Hobart, ready to discover the answer. Wild Oats was not to be denied, relentless in her pursuit of a record-breaking eighth line honours win, finishing the race in just over two days. For skipper Mark Richards, this victory was the most rewarding by far. The great thing about this race was that it was a full-on race. We had a lot of competition from Comanche from the start, and uh, you know, we had to really, really work hard for the whole thing, and, um, you know, and it paid off, so it was very, very rewarding. The key to outperforming the brand new Comanche was making the most of the conditions in which Wild Oats revels. We knew that Comanche is a very good boat on the, on the reaching and that was the conditions we had at the start. We also knew that if we had these conditions we had to do our things right and keep up as close as we could. And, uh, and we know that our boat has, um, has uh, very good conditions too, like especially in light air for instance. I think the key moment for us was, um, was the, uh, crossing this light air reach uh, of the south of Australia. After a challenging and competitive race, Comanche followed Wild Oats over the line just 49 minutes astern. A super effort by skipper Ken Reid and his crew, only two months after the boat's launch. It's very rarely you go through a race like this and, and say in hindsight we should have done X. Both boats sailed a flawless race. They had their day. They had 12 hours. That They had Wild Oats weather. and. Um, that's, that's life, that's the way it works. Attention now turns to the 100 strong fleet still at sea, ready for a tempestuous night and also mounting a fierce challenge for the race's most coveted trophy, the Tattersall's Cup, awarded to the overall winner.